Hey there, today I'm going to teach you 11 things to do before your next flight. The night before your trip, we are going to prepare for takeoff at home. These travel tips are going to help you not forget anything the night before your trip so that you will be prepared for takeoff. There are about five things that we do at home the night before. One thing is I charge all of my electronics. A travel tip for you is to keep a rolled up electronics bag or a pouch with all of your electronic cords. And that way when it's time to travel, you just charge all of these and you don't forget them uh, plugged into the wall at home. I've got my portable charger or my power bank for my phone, my AirPods. Let me tell you about my AirPods. I got this one for Christmas and I don't like this little plastic carabiner hook. It's from Anthropology, but it's just plastic. I got this one because it matches more of my office decor and this is super strong, this hook, if you needed to hook it to anything. But the night before I put my AirPods in that case as well after I've charged them. I also charge my Apple Watch. If you are taking extra bands, you can pack them in there or you can also pack them undone inside a little pouch like this. Another thing I do the night before the trip is I pack all of my food in my clear plastic bag. I'm going to link a quick three minute video for you about the new travel rules for packing food through regular airport security. You can watch that there or in the description box later. I also pat down all my body parts to make sure I have not forgotten any travel essentials for that part. One travel tip that I do is that I put my carry-on suitcase under where I'm charging my power bank. And that way I won't forget my suitcase. No, that way I won't forget my charger for my phone because we all know we need that phone on vacation or it's not a vacation really. Another thing I do at home the night before is I make sure I've downloaded all of my apps. I have the airline app in case I want to see where my plane is parked, which terminal I need to be dropped off at. I can check in for my flight on the apps now. I also would download the airport app if you're going to a place you're not used to. There are packing list apps. There's Packer, P-A-C-K-R, um, or you can just Google free packing list. There's also a Minute Suites app and that is little bedroom or suites inside a lot of airports. You pay $28 unless you have a priority pass. It's dim, there's a sound machine, there's a desk, there's a TV, there's a trundle bed. It's just a serene place to take that mask off, relax, especially if you have kids, and maybe get some work done. I know a lot of the lounges are full now, so that's just an option for you. But my travel tip is to make sure you reserve that minute suite before you get there. Especially if you have a like a three hour delay, easy peasy. A safety feature to do before your next flight is to fill up a cup of water and freeze it in the freezer and then put a quarter on top. When you get back from vacation to a power outage, you can check that cup and see if it's melted all the way or if it's just been off for a few hours. This week is National Communicator Week or 911 Operator Week. I have a friend who works there and she is just so underpaid and underappreciated. The US Department of State has a list of 911 numbers. Obviously they're not 911 from other countries. So if you're traveling internationally, those are good emergency numbers to have. The US Department of State is a very good website if you lose your passport or if you need to know the testing requirements now for COVID re-entering the US or visiting another country. If these travel tips are helping you, be sure to click the bell beside subscribe and you'll never miss one of my free travel tip videos. I usually produce about one a week. I'm a Houston pilot wife and I've made so many mistakes and learned from others' mistakes that I'm just sharing with you for free. By watching my videos, you are supporting this channel. We're going on vacation to Maui this summer and they did not give us an out for refunding our place if we get COVID or something. And so I know some of you are interested in researching travel insurance. I've never gotten it and never had to use it, but that's something you might wanna think about before your next flight. Now that we've gotten to regular airport security, we are going to unzip our boots or untie our shoes a few people back before the conveyor belt. You've already packed your food bag, if you brought any, and your liquids bag in an easily accessible pocket so that you can pull it out real quick and not hold up the line in security. When you get through the TSA line, you're going to take all of your travel gear to the benches that are for you. That way you can get organized without holding up the line and causing congestion. A lot of you have asked if you can wear jewelry through airport security, and yes, you can. You can even wear your Apple Watch. It's the bulky Texas size jewelry that sets the alarms off, so I just don't even put those on at home or my belt 
until I get through regular airport security. In TSA PreCheck, none of these rules have changed before COVID. Some of you have asked if you can wipe down the gray bin and I asked them on the My TSA app. It's a free app and you can ask TSA about any persnickety item that you wanna bring through in your carry-on bag. You can wipe down the gray bins. Remember that you're allowed antibacterial wipes in a big tub. I'd say to save space to divide them into like five or six and put them in baggies so you can use, use them throughout your flight or in the airport or in your vacation rental home. Again, finally, I'm so happy for you. And then there are also hand sanitizer stations and restrooms that you can wash your hands in right after security now. I also pull out my crossbody purse so that I'm ready to go get that coffee or whatever in the airport. I do recommend a little crossbody bag like this that has the outside pocket for your phone. It's big enough for my sunglasses case. It comes in all different kinds of colors. And I like that the chain detailing is high quality so that I can wear it to dress up at a restaurant again on vacation. Can you even believe we are saying the words again? Most airlines are giving you a free antibacterial wipe that is pretty juicy right when you get on the airplane. To prepare for takeoff, you're going to wipe down your seatbelt buckle, you're going to wipe down the armrest and the pocket that you're gonna reach into and look what's in there before you put anything in there. You're going to wipe down and clean the tray table. Even though the airplanes now are being cleaned or fogged in between every flight, it's just added security for you to help you feel better. I pull out my tech gear bag and in it, I'm going to have my power bank for my phone, but I'm also gonna have that phone holder. And that is why my travel tip for downloading the airlines app is so important because now that's how you watch a show or a movie. This one's kind of flimsy, but it does the job for me, but I hang it in the back seat pocket so that it's I can get to the zippered part. That's where my AirPods are going to be or my headphone cords. Let me know if you say headphones or earphones or earbuds or AirPods in the, in the comments below. I also have my rolled up utility jacket or cardigan or a hoodie, whatever's easier for you. This is a great piece to take for spring when it might rain or in the fall, but I have it rolled up in my personal item bag at home. When I get inside the airplane before my flight, I take it out with everything and I just fold it and put it under the airplane seat on top of that personal item bag. I also pull out my journal and a marker. My mind just goes creatively when I get inside an airplane and look at clouds and the beautiful United States or an ocean again. And then right when our airplane is going down the runway, I will put my phone in airplane mode and then I'll say a quick prayer because I think Jesus cares about every little part of our life and I think it's okay to pray for a safe flight. I usually pray that God will protect the airplane with like a bubble of protection going through the clouds. Thanks for your time. I hope you have so much fun packing again and preparing for takeoff. I appreciate it.